Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're actually gonna get into um, another note of thought actually. Um, and this really, really came about by uh, by just a couple of discussions that you know I was having with, uh, with a, a group of people um, in terms of like older men and, 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 you know, how some of them nowadays, you know, will, will, after they built themselves up, older built men, I call it for lack of a better term, if you, if you want to use a different word, you could say developed men, but, uh, older built men who built themselves up and how they, you know, nowadays will start targeting sometimes younger women. So say if a guy was like 40, 45, 50, and he might be targeting someone who's 20, 25, you know, whatever the case is, um, and why another aspect of that came into play of why those kind of guys, um, if you if you built yourself up from the ground up and you weren't always like, quote unquote, the ladies man when you were younger, but now you built yourself up and now, you you know, you're looking more appealing. You're more of an alpha now. You have a lot more stuff going on. And um, and some people might say, OK, well, why can't this guy now get with the older one who may have had her fun when she was young and now she's ready to settle down and um you know and she can get with this this other older guy who's probably her equal age and i'm going to tell you another aspect about that that um why that kind of guy is no good for that kind of woman and vice versa that woman is no good for that kind of guy and it comes from an aspect of not just from the side of things where it's like okay she got to have her fun now she wants to have this guy kind of clean up the pieces. That's normally what most guys say in the space of the pro man space, um, <clears throat> or whatever the case is, um, if you're in that space, or what women probably hear all the time from guys like that. But I'm gonna come at it from a different angle because I think this is very important to address this angle. And I think it's actually a, a, a angle that is very real. And, and um, it's something that really needs to be looked at. And that is the fact that most most women are usually more experienced than men. So if we if we paint the scenario, you take a guy and a girl, they're both 20 years old. The woman is often a lot more experienced. She's dating guys. That 20 year old man, the majority of men, let's be honest, no, and some people don't want to admit this. Women sometimes don't want to admit this, but men know it's true. There's a lot of guys who are like 20 years old. They're getting no play from women. They probably are virgins. They have no experience. There are women at that age who are being taken out by older men, maybe like five years older than them or a little less. Maybe the guy, the, the guy who's like the most the most alpha of her age or the other 20 year old guy, but who's, you know, super um, charismatic. He, he holds all the cards. He's going from one woman to the next with multiple women. They don't know that he's with multiple women. So they're like, hey, I got a boyfriend, not realizing he's with someone else, too. But the point is. Those young girls at that time, those young women at 20 years old, 21, 22, they're getting a lot of experience inside the bedroom, um, a lot of experience inside the bedroom to where they start saying, this is what I'm used to. This is what I like. Um, I'm not sheltered from that. So the guy who is 20 years old, who's more of like the reserve guy or the average guy, he's not getting that. He's getting a little bit at a time, maybe if he's playing his cards right, but it's not to the level that the females getting at the same age. So those two people, I just gave an example of who's 20. Once now they're 30, that female probably has twice as much experience in the bedroom as that man does. So what happens is if he was to now get with that same girl at 30, um, she's not going to be satisfied with him and he's going to feel intimidated by her because when it comes to the bedroom, he's not going to know how to be at her level and she's going to say i demand a lot more because i'm used to guys who are super experienced whether they were young but they were alphas who had all the women or whether they were just older men at the time who you know maybe a good five or even 10 years older than them had, had a lot more experience and was able to show them that so what happens is that when you finally get up to even the age of like 40 and you have a woman who's 40 and you have a man who's 40 who that is the kind of man who built himself up from the ground up that same man he um, he is not going to have the same level of experience as the 40-year-old woman. So while she goes, I'm ready to settle down with somebody. Maybe I had my fun back then. I want to settle down with somebody. The reason why that's bad for both of them is bad for the man and it's bad for the woman from an objective point of view, not a subjective point of view, which would be like, you know, hey, um, she had her fun already. Why should he have to whatever? But more objective point of view is in that logically and factually, 
it doesn't match because she might love the fact that okay he's established himself uh he's a go-getter he has all these other things but guess what the moment that it becomes uh time for the bedroom it's like he's not satisfying me so what's gonna happen the woman's gonna either get annoyed and want to and argue with him all the time because of that but it's really just lashing out the fact that he's not experienced or she's going to want to do things that maybe he's not okay with because that's not how he was that's not how he's progressed himself in terms of the bedroom and because she's experienced stuff that maybe she wouldn't have experienced or or you know um maybe if she was younger wouldn't have even known of the concept that ignorance is bliss wouldn't even known of she wouldn't even be asking for something that he doesn't do because she wouldn't even know about it but in this case she knows about it she had a lot of it and it's like that's what i want so he either can't provide there or she just says you know what I will stay with him and I'll have my fun elsewhere. Uh, and then that becomes a problem too, because though she might see it as a benefit on her end, it's bad for the guy in that aspect. But at the end of the day, it's bad for the woman too, because if you have to have a double relationship where you're getting bedroom fun from one person and you're getting your resource from another person, some people might live that life and think it's cool you're getting over on someone. It's unhealthy. Uh, it's unhealthy for you. It's unhealthy for what you create down the line if you have kids. So that is the reason why that dynamic from an objective point of view, really doesn't work for either. So if a woman ends up having, and this is why a lot of times you'll have guys say that women shouldn't have, especially in the pro-man space, a lot of guys will say women shouldn't be having sexual experience at a young age because part of that problem is that you make it where you now have a ceiling that a lot of regular guys can't reach, but the regular guys are the ones who are getting the good jobs down the line and are developed down the line. So now where you want the dynamic of a good home life you can't get it from those guys because they can't provide you the other thing that you're going to be missing. Um, and so in this case is why when you have, if you have older, if you have alpha or quote unquote player type guys at a young age and women mess around with them at that age, unfortunately, you have to kind of stay with that same guy when you get older because he's the only one who's going to satisfy you in the bedroom. And at the end of the day, that is enough to destroy a relationship if you're not satisfied in the bedroom. The guys who built themselves up from not being that way when they're young, not having a lot of you know women or whatever the case is, their best option when they get older, 35, 40 years old, is a 20-year-old woman because she does not have as much sexual experience. So the little experience he has still trumps hers, which makes him feel like he is an alpha within his own space, which makes him have confidence. So now he is able to keep building in that area of the bedroom in terms of his own self-confidence because he doesn't feel intimidated in the bedroom by the person he's with. And to be honest with you, regardless of how much, I don't care how much a guy has developed himself to become an alpha, if he feels intimidated in the bedroom, it's gonna affect everything else around him so that was a note of thought just wanted to put that out there um as a message for people to kind of gain that information for learning for the purpose of understanding that not all the time is it that men will choose uh older men who have built themselves up from the ground off that look like good candidates will choose younger women just because they're quote unquote punishing women for not choosing them not all the time is that the dynamic of it but just putting this out as a lesson to say that that's not even necessarily a healthy dynamic either um so i just wanted to put that out there and and give food for thought with that and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video